What's that? Remember the uh, how was it? Uh, what was it? It's a little guy. It's like, Oh, the 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 the, the uh, lollipop kids, the lollipop. They click their they click their boots. <laughs> we are the lollipop kids. Lollipop. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Yeah. The little munchkins. Yeah. Just pop into my mind. Because Brett's in the portalette. Brett. Stop. Jeez. You never know where people are at around Oh my here. God, can you not give anybody any privacy? Vanessa, we gotta come outside to go to the restroom. To the potty. I'm sure it's, we have a full washing sanitary system in there. It should pop, pop back on. Okay, you're back on. Now, now show us. Awesome. <laughs> so what? <laughs> what today is. So today is, put on it, Randy Thursday. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna be like this. It would be like a catcher. Put it in here. Give me a curveball. Give me a fastball. Oh, you gotta give me my six. I know, exactly. I gotta hide it from the third baseman. Huh? Look, I'm falling over. <laughs> Men cannot squat. Like flat, flat footed. Down. Here, yeah. Yes, it's like this. She's here, little, show it. Wait a minute, show show you squatting. Show it. Okay, so let's see where he's at. So he's squatting. Okay. Yeah. Now show me. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch some button I shouldn't be touching. Okay, I gotta hack up my. So, okay. How far down am I? Okay, I'm gonna hack it up. Okay, so, okay. How far down am I? Amanda. How far? Let's see. Let me well, see your little derriere there. That's as far as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. Normally you don't squat like that. I told you I could squat. You never believe me. Yeah. See? <laughs> Shoo! Yeah. Well, men come up with this. Throw it. Throw it. Throw, throw it. it. You gotta say throw. 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 Throw it at Randy Thursday. Yeah, which throw is T H O W, tiny house on wheels. Throw it at Randy Thursday. Throw it. Throw it at Randy Thursday. Uh, it's a tongue in cheek kind of. Throw it. Throw it. Yes. Hang on, just one minute. Okay, I got you. I got you plugged in. <laughs> I'm losing all kinds of technical stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Randy, you won't believe the color how this looks on this. Yeah, oh my gosh, it is popping. I'm going to pick out the beautiful color with the red and the black. And it's, uh, she's from South Carolina, from the Gamecocks. And uh, that's what she wanted to replicate those colors from. Is, uh, from the, the Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Microphone. Let's see if I have to turn you back on. Once I unplug it, I think I have to turn you back on. Let me see if you're back on. Are we on now? Can you guys hear now? Let me know if you can hear now. I think you should. Let me see if you're green. Am I green? Okay. Yeah, you're green. Okay. Right. Sorry awesome. about that, guys. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the is a South Carolina Gamecocks color, so that's what she chose for her colors. I think it turned out really nice. It's Just that vibrant color. Yeah. It's a 50-year warranty. It's a, you know it's a maintenance-free siding. You know. Now this was the the PSPI. Yeah, maintenance-free. Yeah, and um, so we want to show you the inside. We're completely done, ready for delivery. Been tested out, washer and dryer, plumbing, electrical, heating and air, sewer. It's all been done. Changes been done. A lot of personal, you know, touches on this thing. 
I think the total ended up being around 75 grand. Yeah. Everything involved. There's a lot of change orders and different things like that. Um, all in all, it's pretty good. It's just when you start getting into so many different things and changing back and forth, it just, it just, even though it's maybe a simple change, it just takes time. Yeah. Because we're in production doing something else back and forth. So that's why we're doing our policy is once you get it done and you're in, you're done. You know, change orders are going to be really costly because we got to come up with a price of what it's going to cost for us to stop what we're doing to come out and not, not perform the work we were doing before to come out. So that amount of money or profit that we we're going to make on that job has got to be transferred into the change order. Right. And I think that's all common sense, you know. Right. But I love this house. You can see that it's so personalized inside, oh, yeah. made for just this one person. Yeah. And that's why tiny homes are personalized because of the small space, all right? And people want these. That's why I, I kind of came up with the RJO because it's an open floor plan. Yes. And you can add later, you can add cabinets, you can add a bed, you can add a bigger kitchen, you can add all that stuff later on if you want. Mm -hmm. And it keeps the cost down, the price down, and the, and the, and the efficiency out the door, yeah. right? So we've got an eight by 28, would cost half that same size, mm -hmm. right? but not near the amenities inside that she has. It's, it's amazing. So this is, throw it at Randy Thursday. Throw it, throw. Throw, throw, throw it. it at Randy Thursday. So any questions you got, throw them at me. Now the first one I got. Anything. Uh, how far it is to Mars? The, <laughs> the roof. They want to know how long is the roof going to last? 14,000 years. <laughs> That's a great answer. That roof, that roof system is a galvaloom yeah. and I, they make a 40 and a 70 year roof. So I won't be around when that thing rots. Oh no, God, but that's amazing. Now the one thing though, it's, a, it's not a standing seam. Mm -hmm. All right, so the screws are, are exposed to the environment. All right, now the screws have got a neoprene washer on them. Mm -hmm. And we've built hundreds of cabins, log homes up in the mountains with these. Now the washers on those, they, they claim are good for about 15 years, mm -hmm. all right? So it could be where the screws have to be taken out and new ones put about every 15 years. Oh, wow. I've never had to do that yet in any of the homes that we've ever built. I haven't been in contact with them, but that's kind of like what it's supposed to be kind of like at, you know? Mm -hmm. um, if you get a darker color, like a black, a dark red, a dark green, yeah. those colors will fade. Now you don't see the fading until you compare it to one that's brand new. You know, yeah. you won't see it as, as much. Right. But um, they do have a standing seam metal where the screws are covered and it snaps in. But it's three or four times more expensive than this roof. Okay. You know, and love putting that roof system on. It's just that our customers want cost effective. I think for this right here, the longevity of it, how long it'll last, there's probably 30, 40, okay, 50 screws on a house. You can do it in a couple hours if they come to that point where you need to replace the screws. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Good. Was that a question? Uh, no, but, I mean, but that's that's good to answer all that because that alleviates asking the question. Yeah. Throw it at me. Throw. Throw. Throw it at I me. I said throw. Right. Amanda. Do you want to tell what's the size? Eight by twenty-eight. Eight by twenty-eight. Yep. Now this this is a two-story wow. tongue box, and these are added on now anymore. You have to charge extra for these. Okay. And because there's a wall right here is because her washer and dryer is right there. That is true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is just the panel box, electrical panel box. Mm -hmm. It's all your breakers and stuff in it. Okay. It is. That's big. That's big. And there's just more storage is all there is. Yeah. You know, storage. there's not a lot of storage, but mm -hmm. we had to make it big anyway for the washer and dryer, you know? Yep. And it's on both sides. Yeah. Yep. Here's the, just. This is gas lines and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. But that's it. Man, it's a big house. And this is all maintenance free siding. It's all been caulked. It's been painted. It's been, oh my gosh, it is, it's ready to be lived in. And just like you said before, with the, with putting on the maintenance free siding, that it's not just cutting it and putting it up. The guys still have to paint it at the ends to make everything match and it still has to be you know, like, is it caulked? Yeah, every time they cut a board, like, these, let's say this board is 16 foot long. 
and they cut a board. You can get three boards out of this, out of one, you know, three pieces. Yeah. So they got to they take this little paint and they got to paint the ends of each board. Each board. Yeah, and then they put it up. Then after the house is completely done, they'll come back with caulk. And you can see they'll caulk every one of these, right? Yeah, right. Well, if they get any red on the black, which you see the two distinct colors, yes. it's not going to look good. So then you got to come back with the black, and you've got to cut that in with the black. That's why we're finding we had to go up on our price of PSPI siding. Yeah. It's taken so much time. You know, like the wood siding, all you have to do is cut it and put it up and caulk it. You don't have to pre-paint it. You don't have to cut it in. When it comes to colors and stuff, it's just a massive amount of labor. Yeah. And we've had cut, we've had homeowners come here and paint their outside, paint their inside, totally regretted it yeah. and wished that we would have done it for them. And too, just to show that on the tongue box, they said, is that is the tongue box spray foam? Yes. It sure is. Okay. So yeah. That's a part now, of it if you get that. now think about this. It is spray foamed, but if you got any water lines in there. You need a supplemental heat inside that because there's nothing in there to heat it. Okay, so there's no there's no warm air blowing in that. So I always tell people if you got a water heater or, or lines, put a little porcelain heater in there. Yeah. That's all you need, just something to keep it from freezing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good. And just uh, people are asking, Van wants to know, is that a window? It's not a window. Yeah, that's not a window. It's a faux window. It's a faux window. Yep. Mm -hmm. When we designed this, she didn't want any windows on that side of the house. Right. Didn't want anything. And then later on, she said, hey, we'll make one look like a window's there. Right. And so you got two shutters, that. That's the um, um, the range hood. Okay. Then up here. Let's see in the back. Let's see what we got back here. Now, this is a this is on a Craftsman-style trailer, too. That trailer alone's about five grand. Oh, extra. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Here's a mini split. You know, we got two outside lights. There's gutters. There's mini split. Every single one of these things is caulked and painted and done. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of work in this. It house. is sealed up and ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to go in first? Or well, me? you go in first. You can lift me up. Right. Lift me up in prayer. No, already. tell me if you lose signal. Okay. Hopefully, we won't lose signal Hopefully in here. Let's start. Let me turn around. Okay. Okay. Now, when we walk in, these. These tables, they flip down, and I like, I'm going to show you how those are built, because they're super simple, but they do a lot of, they, it gives you a lot of counter space, right? Yeah. <clears throat> My philosophy is try to keep everything mechanically simple, so there's no long-term repair problems in the future, okay? Right. So when you come in the door, this is a trap, this is a trap door that goes up top. Okay, and that's to the loft. And we, they, they did that really for the grandkids. The homeowner doesn't plan to go up there. Right. So it's kind of like for guests or kids to go up. And this is the pipe ladder. Then on this wall here is a vertical uh, round log, hand-hewed log siding. Mm -hmm. It is vertical. So it gives it some different texture. Yeah. What I like in this house is you've got some gnarly beam. That's a great big beam right there, like almost like a railroad tie. Yeah. Right here. And then you got your round log, and it's hand hewed round logs. Plus, then you got whitewash, beams, barn wood, and so you kind of get a fancy look, along with a little bit of splash of rustic. Right. You know, there's a lot going on, and you know this house has been completely whitewashed. It's been completely urethaned on the walls and everything. A few spots you will see today that are not is because of additions that were done to this house after it was whitewashed. Right. Toilet's just a little dusty, but look at that custom black toilet. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Amanda's in the bathroom. You can't not go into the bathroom because there's so many beautiful things in here. You guys see the clawfoot tub? Now we had a we had a situation because clawfoot tubs don't have the faucets with them, all right? Right. So if you have normal household uh, tub shower unit, the tub shower, you mount it on the fiberglass or the wall, and then you've got it. This had to be fabricated. So we had to, the homeowner had this faucet. We had to fabricate this box. We had to, we had to solder and make this shower head, because this is a rain head, 
So we had to, look, it's been tested. Mm -hmm. But we had to solder all this, mount it. It's just a, that's a lot of custom work here. A lot of work. And then the plumbing goes down through the floor connecting to it. And then she called up and said she wanted this. Well, as you know, if you recess this in here, this wall is only three and a half inches deep, right? Mm -hmm. If this is three and a half inches, that's the out side there's no insulation behind that right we can't have any insulation if you want it three and a half inches deep right that's right but she's going to live in south carolina versus minnesota where it's 14 below zero for Big five difference. weeks yep you're going to be okay with you're that gonna be fine. okay yeah. mm -hmm. but that's a beautiful you can see look at the dimensions on this tub all right it is touching right from this wall to I mean, this wall it's in there all right think about the planning of that so we're thinking we had to know the size of that tub before we started framing mm -hmm. this before we could put the door in before it even came before the bathroom could be done the loft the beam everything had to be determined around that tub yeah mm -hmm. so the planning of a custom home that's why there's a cost involved in such customizing look at this washer and dryer it's got maybe three eighths to a half on each side and it's got to fit right in there with the height of it. And in behind that is where you hook up everything. Right. Right? Now, we can get in the tongue box and maybe try to get to it. But all that's got to be configured in your head halfway. This is sticking out so far. The, the custom vanity was here. The toilet. The toilet can, couldn't be sticking out too far. But you got to have a door big enough to get the washer and dryer out of here for repairs. Yeah. Right? Let me show that closed. Yeah. So I just want to point a few things out when it comes to the custom, the customizing of a home mm -hmm. and why it's more expensive than just we're trying to we're trying to do both. We love customizing, but we also um, like doing our production homes because we it's kind of a neat challenge to be able to put out a house, mm -hmm. 15, 20 thousand dollar homes. Right. So it's really I don't know. It's kind of cool because nobody else is doing them. You know, I'll let the light come in on it bathroom and like you said before both of those flip down yeah now look at the mechanism that's underneath this all it is is a piece of countertop right butcher block and we put a piano hinge on the back side of that mm -hmm. this is a 5 8 plywood so it's really strong a piano hinge has a, bit, a bunch of screws in it that makes it strong so you just go straight down yeah it just nothing it. to it yeah simple and so when you then when you fold that back, right, this can go down. Now, to make that flat, this countertop had to be cantilevered over the thickness of that mechanism that folds back and forwards, okay? So this one does the same thing. You pull it out, done. Yeah. Now, you don't want to get up there and sit or no. use it as a ladder, right. but it's great for cooking, using it in the kitchen. Right. dimensions of the bathroom because well we're 88 and a half inches wide mm -hmm. okay and this tub i really think it's 72 i didn't bring my tape measure i don't think it's 72 probably more like i don't know i don't have the length of this mm -hmm. um three two i think it's about 60 by five so it's about five foot by 88 so seven foot four okay yeah yeah, I think it's a five-foot tub. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Um, of course, your mini split. We built these. We built these um, soffits up here for the light to shine down, because there's no loft above the kitchen. And normally, you have a loft above the kitchen, so we built them soffits, put the lights in it. Mm -hmm. Comes out. This is the air exchanger she wanted. This is where the TV will be mounted because that's her living room area. Yeah. Right off of it's the. Right here. Yep. So we'll. I think she's gonna put a recliner. We're gonna sit. Throw it at me. Yeah, throw, throw, it, throw, throw it at Randy Thirsty. Randy Thirsty. So this is where her sofa will be. And so the TV be right up there and then all the kitchen over here. And you're getting scolded big time for not having your measuring tape. Oh, man. Melanie said tisk, tisk. Tisk, tisk. That's right, Randy. Melanie. <laughs> Melanie always has hers, so I'm not like... Yep. This right here, explain. 
explain this and what this that thing. Is. Yeah. I don't know. It's a new wave um, cooktop. Yeah. And it's made to not go in a countertop. She wanted us to cut it and put it in, but there's no room in here for that. Right. And it's not made to go in. It's manufacturer says it sets. It's got rubber tabs on it, and it just sets on a counter. Now she may put it in later she herself, but of, yeah, exactly. Um, but this is an oven. Yeah. Dishwasher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a dishwasher here. And look, it's all black. Black oven. Black this. Black sink. Black faucet. Beautiful. I mean, black refrigerator. Whew. I mean, it all looks. Great. And the then ceiling the, fan. The live edge. Live edge wa um, shelving. Yep. Wow. And then you got another barn door that goes yeah. into here, right? Cool. Yep. What size is the fridge? That's a full size fridge. Well, it's up on a base. Yeah. But it's a little bigger than a um, 10 cubic feet. Yeah. I don't think it might say in there. Maybe like a 14 or something? Yeah, I don't know. So it's got a drawer at the bottom. Yeah, down here we put a... Mm -hmm. Yep, see that? There's a drawer under the stove. Yeah, and this is about 10, 11 foot inches tall, mm -hmm. you know, and it's probably 6'4", so it's about, a, it's a little, bit, a little bit taller than our 60 inch refrigerators. And know? I like this up taller. I like taller countertops like that. Hey, does it say here? No. Tight. 11M. TFA. It's a whirlpool. Yep. Okay. Anyway, there you go. And so then, a bit of a window right yeah, there. yep. Mm -hmm. uh, 2030. Up here is a barn door. We, we made those so you can fold out because if she shuts this just here, yes. they can get some air that goes into the bedroom. Okay. And get that Keep air circulating. Yes. Yeah. Now, a change order that we did is the bed, as you guys used to know, the head was there. As you can tell, it's not been whitewashed. Yes. It used to be there. So she changed her mind and wanted it flipped around like this. The closets were on, on opposite ends. We took down all the shelving, and then we put it all back up, and then we rearranged the shelving again over here. Let's see, because there's a door in yeah. here, too. Yeah, and this is a door to get out of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I kind of like where it's at, but she wanted a doggy door, and we were telling her that this doggy door here, there's right? will not work on the end of this wall uh -huh. now. It did before the bed was there. You can see the distance, but now it won't. Right. So she said she'll probably figure something out after she gets it home. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Let me turn around here. Let me switch plates. But yeah. this vaulted ceiling, she got an extra ceiling fan, more shelving closets, the bed, the lift up. And look at this bed. This bed has all these shelving in here. You got some screws for her, mm -hmm. right? And I think it lifts up. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it does. Yep. Yep. Shelving under there, or storage. Yep. And this is a big, heavy mattress. Yes. This, oh, look at that. That's man. a heavy mattress, man. And then there's two closets. Yeah. Yep. Man, where's the throw of that Randy Thursday? What's, I mean, they're, they're taking it all in. How it much is. Was, let's see, how much is a bed size just like that with the drawers? I, off the top of my head, I know we sell just the flip up beds, I think for $650, but I don't know if the drawers are extra. Yeah. yeah. And that's got a headboard. So it, it um, I Between don't the know. Front and, the, and that's just ballparking it. Yeah, we got it on our amenities page. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you go that's, to yeah, that's our website. Yeah. Yep. Um, let me see if I've missed any questions here. Now, we're ready for some questions, so whatever you want to ask. Throw it at me, Amanda. Throw, throw. throw it at me. Throw it <laughs> throw at it me. Throw it at Randy Thursday. Let's see here. Throw you see. Oh, man, that's rude. Well, maybe they're calling to ask you a question. <laughs> Austin, Texas. <laughs> but just a reminder, this is an 8 by 28, right? 8 by 28. Mm hmm Yep. I mean, there is a lot that went on with this, and so total about seventy-five, eighty thousand around there. Seventy-five, the girl said, what we had in it. So you know, after all the changes and everything that's been done to it, yeah, a lot going on, man. Uh, now this is a good question too, Nancy. Do you do Dutch doors? Yes, we sure do. Do we build them or do we buy them? Both. Mm -hmm. 
We'll yeah. do both. I do remember that we had a customer, the very first Dutch door. Remember the yep. lady up in the, yeah, New, New Jersey? Jersey. Yeah. And that Dutch door that she bought and sent, hers was $1,200. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We remember that, don't we? Yeah, we do remember that. And that house was on HGTV. It was on HGTV. The very first, no. With Hulse. The second ever. The Hulse house. I know, the second time. Yeah. Not the one in the backyard. No, no, but it was on HGTV. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. we were on uh, Tiny House Hunters. Yes. Twice. Mm -hmm. And that one featured January of 2018. Yeah. January 1st of yes. 2018. Right. Mm -hmm. I think. Because it was yeah. filmed in 2017. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, it made me a movie star, didn't it? <laughs> Not. Not. We didn't get. We didn't even get a call. We didn't get Nothing, any, man. We didn't get any sales from that. You know what? My 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 son said to me. He said, "Dad, listen, it's no big deal getting on TV anymore." <laughs> I was like, "God, what was a big deal for me?" It, it was, it, and it was exciting, and it was interesting to to see how they do things behind the scenes yeah. and everything like mm -hmm. that. So it, it's not what you think at all. No, is it? uh, uh, no, no, it's so different. It takes all day just to get in a oh, house. It's exhausting. Yeah, it was four days of filming and you, you do the same thing 20 times. Open the door, open it, open it over, just like this constantly. Yeah. Look this way, look that way. Oh, we got a plane go by. Randy was over it. <laughs> I was like, if this is what Brad Pitt does for a living, forget it. Forget it. He can do it. Now, they want to know where the, the door's behind Randy. Talking about what door? Talking about this door? Let me see. This is the front door, and this is the bathroom door, of course. Yeah. How much for this built from the trailer up? So it's about... Go on our website, all right, and you'll look up... This is more of a freedom style, and this has got a drop axle, mm -hmm. all right? So if we... It's got the extras. That's why it's all crazy. So I could do this like an RJO and throw two dormers on it. Mm -hmm. But then you got the whitewashing in here was probably three or four grand Had to, be. to whitewash it. To, I don't know. To whitewash it and to polyurethane it could have been more, you know. Mm -hmm. um, extra cabinets, the range, um, the, the tub, the walls. There's just a lot going on in here. Right. You know. Now, if you just want the size home, 8 by 28, Oh, you can get you can get almost get it for almost half that. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you're not going to have all these beautiful amenities in not here. The, not the you extras. know, now you can have this great big volume, and you can throw two dormers on. They're thirty five hundred a piece, right? Mm -hmm. So seven grand. You think about this. We were trying to figure it up. One dormer will make that a bedroom. Two dormers makes it a massive room. Oh yeah. All right. But if you put one dormer for thirty five hundred bucks, you just added about eighty square feet to your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, you want to put two dormers at seven grand. You get a lot of room up there. It could be a study, it could be an office, and really could almost be both. You can put a twin bed there plus closets, whatever you want. It adds a lot of more, a lot more living space. Now I do. Um, <laughs> there was um, one of the houses that at, that had a. It was a. It was actually a workshop house, and but it had a complete second floor. And we never did get to tour that and see what it... It's over there. At um, Riverbend. Riverbend. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And they had two kids. Mm -hmm. Husband and wife had two children. It was a complete craftsman style. Yes. And then they put they floored it. And so it had a... And you know what? Everybody slept upstairs. Everybody yeah, did. Yeah, everybody okay. did. So how tall? Do you remember how tall that was? Well, 11... You get 11 foot 2. Okay. Okay. And I think they made it about 80 inches under here. So it was about... 52, 53 inches tall upstairs. Yes. Still couldn't stand up, and the kids were running all over the place. And I don't think, did, they didn't have, did they have dormers? Stairs. And anything? No, it's a craftsman. It's a craftsman, that's right, yeah. that's right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you put four dormers on that home? On, on this home? On this home? Well, sure. Okay. You could put four dormers. Yep. Yeah. Sure could. Hey, you can put two here, two there. Um, staircase. I mean, you know, it's endless. The designs you could come up with for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking, is Randy still getting recertified to put the sewer for the beach <clears throat> and the prairie? Yes. And they said I would be ready for December. Now they told me it's not going to be till January 24th is when I'll hear back about it. Okay. So January 24th. And as soon as we get that, now our design has already been submitted to the city. So we've already been given the 911 addresses, the plat map, and it's all set. I've already pulled the permits for the electrical on it. I didn't do the sewer because we can do it ourselves, but it's in the engineering phase. So the beach, 
I'm hoping by the time I get all that, my license, we'll have it all done and it'll be preliminarily, you know, taken care of on, on the engineering end of it. Right. Yeah. And of course, I mean, this is the time of, there's been a lot of rain, there's been, uh, yeah. it's holidays and stuff, so. Yeah, they, but thanks for that person. Yes. Somebody must be following us because that's something I said probably a month or six weeks ago, so. Oh, yeah, they yeah. keep up with it. Thanks yeah. for following that, man. That's cool. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm excited. I'm hoping I get it. I don't know. That they got to do a, you know, they got to be before the board. Um, I had, I've taken the test twice in my lifetime and normally a person takes it once, yeah. but I've taken it twice and um, there's a business and law, there's a practical part of it. It's a five or six hour exam and, um, but I passed it, but at the time when I quit building homes, I didn't want to build another house. Right. I was, I was done, you know? Yeah, exactly. And, and two or three of them are saying, we all follow it. We all know, so that's oh, great. That's yeah. cool. Good. Um, yeah, and you can't, I mean, with the, <clears throat> with it raining and so, I mean, they can, they're limited uh, by the weather. Oh, yeah. I mean, and you know what? Frozen and and they, they're just like us. They get paid by the job, so they want it done as quick and go and listen. This is a terrible oh, time. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I've paid them a lump sum. It's done. Oh. Yeah, okay. so the city has really got a contractor they work with mm -hmm. that's putting it in. So the longer they take, them guys are not getting paid if they don't come here. There's mm -hmm. nothing they can do, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Melanie wants to know, are you taking Christmas to build your own tiny house? Christmas. You know what I'm doing? I'm getting my inventory ready. An inventory room. I'm going to unload the container. I built the second floor inside the offices. I'm going to get the girls' offices remodeled. I can't take time to do anything for me yet. I'm really still establishing this company. <clears throat> I got to have the girls got to have an office. Tom, no office. I know he's. He all three of them get in that little cubicle, and they're all just sitting in there trying to do their work. And, and phones been, ringing. And they've all been sick two or three times. Yeah. Hey, we're too close here. <laughs> so I got to get, I've got, that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, do you have any finished homes for sale? That's a great question. Finished homes. Finished homes. I don't, we just have, um, the 24 hour build mm -hmm. it's not completely finished but it's for sale it's um and we're gonna yeah mm -hmm. but we do have one an eight by 24 but it would need some we'll stuff. finish it yeah we'll finish it yeah to your liking yeah and i think that is that the only one and uh bryce is working on yeah it. bryce's uh container next door mm-hmm um, we're actually getting a trailer on that thing today. Yes. So I'm going to get it. It'll be delivered. I'm going to jack it up, weld it to that thing, and I'm going to put it on a trailer. And I think if um, if and when it does sell, it can just be hooked and hauled out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can build them. The 8x24, how much? What What's the deal with uh, the 8x24, the volunteer spirit? And people may remember that when it was yeah. the tell about that. You know what? And this is this is where we're at with that house. We built it in 24 hours three years ago. Yes. This March will be three years, or is it yes. three years? Almost this four week. years. I can't remember, but I it's about be three years. It's about March. three years old. Alyssa we built it in know. 24 hours at a home show here in Morristown. Yeah. When we auctioned it off, the buyer is from New Jersey, mm -hmm. and when he bought that thing, his his dad or uncle was a uh, a war vet mm -hmm. and he was such I mean this guy is just a sweet guy and he ended up we had bids up to 15,000 and that's all there was yes. he ended up buying it for 30 30,000 he sent us 30 grand yes. and we gave $30,000 straight to a Vietnam war vet yes. he got all 30 yes that guy did mm -hmm. so we got the house here and so <clears throat> Matt is his name that bought it. Wonderful guy. He said, hey, keep it there. Let's see what we're going to do with it. And he's just, he's a realtor up in Jersey and great mm -hmm. guy. And he felt a heart for that guy. And that's why he gave that money. Yes. But now that we've restructured our prices, we're actually lower now than we used to be. Right. All right. So he's kind of upside down in it. Yes. So we're going to try to help him. So I want whoever buys that, you're going to get some extras on it. We're going to... Yeah, to help sell it. Yeah, yeah, because we want to we want to show him how much we appreciated him at the time when we were building and starting a company. But if you want that house, it's a it's on a it's on a craftsman style trailer. And we could probably show 
it if it's unlocked. And it's just a straight shot. It's yeah. just a straight gable all the way back. Mm -hmm. Kitchen bathroom was in the back. Right. Big living room in the front and also had a four foot overhang at the door. Yeah, I don't care to walk over there. And then too, uh, you know, they're saying uh, maybe he could rent it out. And of course, we've been talking and that's about exactly what I proposed to him mm -hmm. uh, the other day. Yeah. Because we're just going to go ahead and finish it up, doll that thing up. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put some bells and whistles in it and um, put it on a rental. Yeah, I mean, he did, he's, he's just a wonderful man. Yeah. He's a wonderful man. He's been good to us, um, and uh, we appreciate him yep. doing that. Um, could you talk, talk a little bit about uh, Bryce's container, the price, what's it going to entail, all that kind of stuff? It's going to be right around this, you know, uh, the low 60s. And let me show it really quick. What's what yep. we're talking about for you guys right here. Yeah. Now, it is not a brand new container, so you can see it's got some dings and dents in it. Um, he has sprayed it with a galvanized rust-proof spray. Then he turned around and sprayed it again with that white paint that had a, um, a uh, insulating additive. And you wouldn't believe how much it has helped insulate that home from the heat. And um, I don't know about the cool, but the heat, he couldn't believe. He said, Dad, you can't even feel the heat when the sun hits it. Yeah. You know? Um, but he's accented the wood on both ends, on both sides. Inside is a living room kitchen, bathroom, bedroom in the 40 foot length. Mm -hmm. And it's nine and a half foot tall. He's putting all wood inside, okay? All wood walls, wood ceiling and everything. It's gonna have a little bit of a modern look to it. Mm -hmm. I love the bathroom because the bathroom's got a nine foot oh, countertop. Look, it's nine awesome. foot countertop with all kinds of storage underneath. A 48 inch shower, toilet, stackable washer and dryer, and you can put a full size, I think a queen size bed wow. in the back totally. with a with a, a glass that's almost six foot and by we, six let's foot. Let's go see the glass. Yeah. Show that. And Becky said, I see you all in my house. She said, I, thank you for everything you've done since it looks gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. That house is beautiful. Thanks Becky, for letting us build it. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take one more peek at Becky right here. So you can see Bryce in there working now. He's putting on his, putting in the, the walls and the ceilings in. But this is actually the bedroom back here. So this, this big tall glass is the bedroom. Now, one thing we did different on their very, very first um, uh, container, and we're in the middle of repairing that because a friend of ours, friend that we've learned through this company had bought it from us, but we gave it, we sold it to him for cost. It was 15 grand we had in it. He bought it for 15. So we're gonna fix it up a little bit for him because we used to, we took metal and we outlined all of our openings in tubing, you know, like right. a four by two tubing. And that, any metal that touches the outside and touches the inside is going to sweat. All right. Okay. And uh, so it does. So we're going to insulate that and recap it and insulate. But what we've done on here is we didn't do that. We cut all the openings and then we actually framed them with wood because wood doesn't bridge. All right. The cold. So we framed it and then we capped that with a with a vinyl, I mean aluminum brake metal. So now it's maintenance free and it's really watertight. And then we put, and this is just the wood outside is just an aesthetic peel. It has nothing to do. You just keep it stained. He's not even really done staining it yet. Right. It has a couple more coats. Mm -hmm. So I really like the colors that he's chosen. That Thanks, other that other big picture window is the bathroom. Yeah. So your sink is like right there with a nine foot countertop. And there's, this would be, I think this would look beautiful in the desert. Oh yeah, that'd look nice. That's where I think it would look really nice. That would be beautiful. It's gonna have a tongue on it. You're gonna be able to hook to this and take it anywhere you want. Oh yeah. 40 foot long. I love it. Yeah, and then the kitchen has got almost 16 feet of countertop yeah with a range a fridge and in the living room he didn't put any windows in the living room because when you watch tv or gaming you don't want anything on that of you know course, yeah. and then the, the, but then you do have the big two cargo doors that can open up from the living room and if it's on a stationary foundation or somewhere you can have a big deck of course and wrap it around and i want to see party. the other side of it yeah it's now one thing that he bought on here is it's a full glass commercial aluminum door. I love that. And it was like it comes out of like a it looks so cool. Of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you, there's once he finishes that wood up there and stains this up, 
it's going to be a really modern look with wood feel, you know. Okay, when you, Christina wants to know, when you order the containers, is the customer able to choose from a few, or how does that work? Um, What's your option? I don't know if we can really choose. What they do is they give you a one-time container. Mm -hmm. It's a one shipment, and there's no dings, dents in it or anything. It's hard. They may send me some pictures, but I've, I've tried to look at two or three online. They say, hey, which one do you want to choose? And you can't tell on the pictures because... You just can't see all the dings and dents until the sun actually hits it in different areas, yeah. you know. Now, some people want an old beat up container Character. because that's what it looks like. Yeah. And we can show a new one because uh, uh, is it Chuck's over yeah. here when we walk over yeah. there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. His is new. So we can show the dings. Now, let me show you. This is a Craftsman trailer. Okay. And see how this is what we used to build on all the time. And we still do when we have a big home. We, we're not selling as many Craftsmans anymore. Right because they're a, they're a bigger, expensive home, yeah. but they give the most volume. So we build, we stack wood on top of that, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we put all our plumbing in there and then we build on top of that. So we don't have floor joists and you see the fender sticking up. Yeah. So they stick up this much, right? So you got to incorporate this in your design, yes. but then you've got from here all the way up, which gives you over 11 feet of headroom. So you're almost gaining, this is about 12 inches, so you're going to gain 12 inches of headroom if you use this kind of trailer. Yeah. Now this is over here. This is the RJO and Freedom Style. And <clears throat> just really quick before we go away from the Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Christina wants to know if they were to buy a container, yeah. can it be sent to us? Sure. To do that? Gosh, yeah. Take it and go. We'll just subtract the cost of the container. Yeah. And remember, we put these on trailers too. It's really neat. Um, for about, I don't know, probably about $4,500 mm -hmm. on that one there. You can put a, a trailer underneath that with a hitch and everything. Yeah. It says, uh, Christina said, said, Facebook Marketplace is what I mean. If we buy a container, we want to ship it to you, or can you get better deals? We can get a better deal. We can get a better yeah, deal. Yeah, by the time you buy it and you have it shipped and everything here, um, I've got John who hauls for us. Yeah. He's got a, a, a place right down in Savannah, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And what we do is if you're even looking towards that, if he's running that way, he'll only charge you half the delivery fee. So you're going to save. Yeah. And so yeah. we'll work with you. So if you're wanting to go that route, just let us know. I'll tell you how much we pay for the container. That's yeah. fine. I'm not trying to make money on the container. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just let us, just let us know what, what you've got. Cause you never know what you might run across. So just let exactly. us know. Yep. For right. sure. And it's always good to shop around. You know, that's what I'm saying. When these guys are asking $150,000 for a house, yeah. you know what it costs. Yeah. Just add the boards up, everybody. No, it's not a secret. Add it up. It's no big deal. Yeah. You know, that right there, that $75,000, $70,000, whatever this house, the red one the costs. Red, Becky's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can show you and you can look at the craftsman and the time and involved everything it took in that house. Yeah. There's more labor in that than more the probably the materials, you know. And it's that red just. Yeah, Good. and then these are our trailers instead of the Freedom. See how, okay, so this floor system is above the tires. Mm -hmm. Now look at this one over here, Amanda. That floor system right there is below is in below the tires, almost in the middle. Mm -hmm. So the other system was up here. So that's why you lose headroom. It's a less expensive trailer, the way it's built, constructed. Me and the, and the manufacturer of these trailers have sit down. We've we went through design after design, figuring all this out. This is how we put our plumbing in, under, we spray foam it, all that we do mm -hmm. to give a good home, a good, but you're losing the height, but it's perfect. If all you're going to do is sleep upstairs or you're not going to live upstairs at all, you save thousands of dollars with this design. And you and the, um, the manufacturer was not doing tiny homes before no. Um, at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, so you all came up with this. Yep. That's awesome. Look at the, see the traders we have out here? Oh, yeah. And we're knocking them down. We actually, that was, there was a, it was stacked and packed. So we just brought seven. These four here, we got three more. We're going to plumb and insulate, right? Yeah. These will be going into the shop Christ, uh, Christmas week. Yep. So we're going to week, we're going to work through the weekend, everybody. Um, yeah. We're working tomorrow on Sunday. And so, well, or Friday, uh, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. to give everybody off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yes. I'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. What I'm going to do is 
get all those trailers in, get them set up, get them ready for the guys, get all the wood in there, get them all ready for Thursday when they come in. And also try to get the office going too. That's exciting. There's a lot of, people wouldn't understand how fast things move here. Yeah. <laughs> it's quick, everything's and, quick. You know, I, I just built it that way. That's probably my personality and stuff. And, Sometimes it's a little hard to keep up with myself, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> All these, a few of them are waiting to be taken back in the shop and finished up. These two here, they're going to the community, and we've talked to the homeowners. They're good. They're going to be taken back in the shop and fixed up. That's why we're going to flip them, stick them in there in between some of the builds, because these are going to be finished out. And real quick, we're on the beach. Well, this is the beach area. Yeah. And I am so excited about this beach area. We got a rendering that was done, and I'm going to put it out there on our website so you guys can kind of see my mind. It's a cartoonish rendering of the beach. But what we'll do is we'll take a home just like this here, and we're going to cut. I'm going to cut a swath out of this concrete, right? A couple three foot wide. And we're going to fill it full of trees and shrubs and bamboo. Yes, bamboo. And it's going to be full. It's going to be tall. I'm going to put, try to put frost resistant palm trees and tropical plants that are frost resistant, right? And it's going to be on both sides. So there'll be two swaths cut off on each side, full of all that. Then you'll have a little shed here for your stuff. So when you pull in, you can pull in. Here's your shed. There's your house. And we want the door on the front so you'll be able to see people. This is about community. This community. is about talking to people, talking to your neighbors. How you doing? Hey, do you need help getting your groceries in? Right. And yeah. Too, and just to, um, I know we had talked about this the other day, but we've already started a list of uh, people in the community who want to go ahead and put your order in for your um, shed <clears throat> and for your deck because everybody's going to want one. If we don't start it now, we'll get slammed. we're going to get slammed. Everybody's going to want it in the spring. I'll know? get you. You know what? I'm going to get you all price. Mm -hmm. If not next week, first of the year, and yeah. then we'll get you a price of design and we you can start them ordering going. them. We'll start building them and get going on exactly. that. Exactly. Uh, Christina said, I love the beach idea. Going to look great. I'm wondering about the prairie. Would be livable? Just a, a guesstimate. Would it be, would be livable? Not sure. No, we got 16 people. Didn't she say, no, 16 or 17 for the prairie? It's, well, either one is a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't know how many how many there was, but um, maybe she means I, I don't know, livable or not. I mean, um, but uh, um, I haven't started the design of that, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be. I'm, that's exactly what we're doing the first day. That's why I'm trying to get all my infrastructure done in the in the about our business, mm -hmm. and I can start concentrating on the prairie. And then when I hopefully if I get reinitiated with my builder's license and mm -hmm. I can install all our in, an infrastructure. I want everything done 2020. Mm -hmm. 2020 is a big year. I'm, I'm hoping a big year for us. I'm and, hoping, yeah, go yeah, ahead. And what are we looking at for um, the, well, number one, to get on the list to um, for your um, your deck or your shed, yeah, shed, you need to email. Email community. And yeah, don't text me or call me. No, no. Email community yeah. at incredibletinyhomes.com. So email, email is called community. I think it's community. Alyssa double check that. Alyssa said there's 16 that's already for the beach. Alyssa, let Alyssa prairie. put on the, I mean on the prairie. Let Alyssa put the email on there for everybody okay, to yeah. send so she can start that list. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. um, when do you think everything would be done? The beach, the prairie, things like that. Of course the beach would be done first. That's mm -hmm. what we're doing next. Yeah. Um, as soon as I hear, this looks like we're probably gonna start in February on the beach. I don't think the beach will take longer than a couple months. Oh, and that's what she meant by it being livable. I, I didn't get that. What's livable? The prairie. She meant when is it going to be when ready to live ready in? Ready to live yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my goal is the prairie is going to be quicker for one because we can do our hopefully we can do our infrastructure. Two, there's no trees to contend with. Those trees cost us. Oh my God, thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. right? The prairie is just like cutting it in sand, putting it on there and done, mm -hmm. you know? I'm gonna throw amenities in there. 
and that's where the offset of the cost will be. We're going to put fencing and some amenities and some buildings and stuff like that to really make it look cool. Um, I my plans are that this by this time next year and hopefully before by maybe the fall of of 2020, mm -hmm. all this is done. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that's my plans. What's really fun about all this is that the, these communities really don't take my time away from the construction. No, no. Because we sub it out. Um, there's a gentleman that I've been friends with 20 years. He's an excavator. He'll come in, he'll cut it out, he'll dig it, he'll put the mm -hmm. water. I'm just pulling the permits and overseeing it. Oh, yeah. And he's great by coming in and doing it. I don't have time to run a machine to do it. And he's really great at it. So we'll have that done. I've all pulled the permits for this. As soon as, we're, as soon as I get the design of the prairie, I take it to the city. I pull my 911 permits. The electrical permits are paid and pulled. And then the engineering of the sewer. I've already gave the, uh, the um, surveyor the plans for the beach. Mm -hmm. So he's engineering the sewer right now for the beach. That's the only thing we need engineering for is a sewer. Mm -hmm. It'll be taken right across the parking lot behind the building and dumped into a pump station we have there. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful straight shot. Awesome. And also for the prairie, we're hoping that the elevation will be able to tap into that same pump system. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to be looking forward to that because everybody's excited about the beach and the prairie. You know, there was, uh, there's, there's people that know about this that I didn't know about it. There's like, I mean, it's, it's bigger than I think we know about, which is kind of cool. But there was a guy from California that stopped here yesterday, and he might be watching. He says he watches all the time, and he's a realtor out of the San Francisco Bay Area. And he's been doing that forever. And he said he's got developers and investors that he works with all the time. Mm -hmm. And he was des describing them, describing us to them. Yeah. And they said, there's no way. What's the catch? What's, what, what's the angle this guy's got? Yeah. You know? And he just laughed, and he said, I had to come here and see it for myself. And when he walked in, he just shook his head. He walked in the house, the one you decorated. Yes. He walked in and he said, this is real wood. Yeah. It's a real trailer. It's not a mobile home. He just shook his head. He goes, wow, man. He said, this is going to hit. He yeah. said, we get this in California. He said, it'll, he said, you won't be able to keep up, Randy. He said, this is a beautiful product. And he said, the price you got here, he said, they all want to know, what is the angle you got? And yeah. I said, there is no angle. It's just called it's just work. Less, it's just taking less money. It's just called work, man. Uh, Christina had another question, too. She said, so when you get my shepherd's hut, she's the lady with the shepherd's hut. I uh, was going to call her. I didn't have her phone number. I was going to call her this go morning. To, said, so when you get my shepherd's hut, but uh, it needs to go to the prairie. Will you leave it on property waiting for the prairie to open? Yes. Of course. Yes. And we've yeah. got another one. We're just, we're going to leave here till April. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've got more questions. I just want you Good. to know that hey, questions are coming. All right, go ahead. Um, throw it at me, baby. I know. Throw it. Throw, throw it, it at Randy. Okay. Um, if we will have 911 addresses, why will, why will they not deliver mail? Newport needs to get with the program. Wonder, we got to figure that out with the mail. And well, I don't think we the don't mail is the same as 911. They're not the same boss. Yeah. You know, um, it's a private road. Okay. So the mail doesn't ride on private roads. Um, we're thinking about putting boxes out here. Mm -hmm. It's a commercial box. The boxes that hold about 25 homes is about four grand. Yeah. So it's a lot of money. I'll spend up twenty thousand dollars just putting up mailboxes. Yeah, hundred and something boxes. And then it's the traffic jam. Yeah. If everybody goes get their mail at nine a.m. in the morning, True. it'll be one hundred and fifty people trying to get their mail. You know what? We need an incredible tiny homes post office. <laughs> so we can start selling stamps. And Maybe we can. I don't know. Our own post office. So stuff we need to look into. Exactly. But we're but we are looking also into it. we do not have trash pickup. Right. You can go down and take your trash like we all do. We put it in our trunk of our car and take it down to the convenience center and mm -hmm. throw it in a dumpster. That's Tennessee. All right. Or we may have somebody who's energetic enough that wants to have trash pickup and have their own business. We th I thought about doing it. I thought, well, we'll buy a truck and a trailer. Then we have to hire somebody to pick up your trash once a week and take it to that same place you right. would. Mm -hmm. Then you'll pay 20, 25 bucks a month for trash pickup. Right. And then, too, somebody's asking about a Hobbit house on here. Be sure to email, uh, either call us here, call uh, the office number, or email uh, sales at incredibletinyhomes.com so they can discuss and, you know, um, a house and, you know, go over it with you and get everything on there. Because they're saying, hey, I need my Hobbit house. Like, I need it soon. So 
get in there um, and contact us. Um, Nancy said, real wood, do I need to treat for termites? That's a good question if you didn't know. Real wood, like on the outside of the house I and guess. stuff? Mm -hmm. um, you know, termites come from the ground mm -hmm. and they, they bridge up, they can get through concrete, oh. you know? But these homes, if you can tell, they're, you know, they're on wheels, you know, and you really don't need to worry about so much that. Now, permanently set up, um, that's all steel underneath. Mm -hmm. I think the likelihood of, of termites is really slim to none. Yeah. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. All right, I just want to make sure I'm caught up. Uh, but you can treat your soil because ants and stuff will crawl in your house. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much you spray foam or anything, you're going to get bugs and ants. So you can pre-treat. And a lot of people are talking about rosemary and frankincense and different stuff like that around yeah. your house will alle alleviate a lot of um, bugs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as trash, and I'm, I'm glad Myrtle brought this up. Myrtle follows us all the time. Yeah. Well, we have a compost area. You know, I'm going to... Uh, Good question. We're going to have a garden area, right? I want one at the forest, mm -hmm. one at the beach, and another garden area at the prairie. Yeah. And then we'll probably, this great big area I'm looking at right here, this is, I'm, I'd like to take a farm. Mm -hmm. My, I would really like to have a farm area here, right? That'd be beautiful. So we'll probably take maybe some um, railroad ties, or not railroad ties, because they got creosote, probably some concrete bunkers, mm -hmm. and you can put your stuff in there, and then we have to rotate it. I'm like this, everybody. You guys want something here? And we got some land here. We might figure it out. Just talk about it. Yeah. We'll might throw be it in there. We want. This place is going to evolve. I could I can just imagine what it's going to look like in five years from now. Oh, unbelievable. The trees, the plants, and the beach and the prairie is all going to be bigger and more lush. Mm -hmm. The flowers that everybody plants and trees. I'm even thinking about putting a tree line right there where our factory I is. I think that would be I'd love that. I want a tree line there. Yeah. I'm thinking about kind of yeah. roping and fencing off our factory area yeah just so it looks nice it looks neat there's so this endless amount i even talked to somebody you see that bank right there on the side yeah. of our road it's a steep bank yeah perfect for grapes yes beautiful we could put a complete orchard over there i think it'd be great apple trees pear mm -hmm. trees grapes and all that stuff can be taken care yeah. of and so i'm open to all that stuff yeah. this is why it's my philosophy is just i have no idea I haven't read anything else from anybody else. My thing, I'm banking on human nature. Yeah. I'm banking because I'm not charging you an arm and a leg to live here. Right. That you're going to put energy back into the community. Yeah. I talked to I talked to Rebecca this morning. She was so excited about can't wait to get here. Yes. And that she wants to come here and be a part of a community where people mm -hmm. can talk and relate. She's not a she's not on high, a technical. She's not even on Facebook. Right. But she wants to commit connect with people and do all these things. Yeah, there's going to be arguments and there's going to be, you know, people that don't agree and there's going to be some people that are just odd to get along with. You know what? That's part of life. Yeah. That's part of who we are. So mm -hmm. my whole thing is about, hey, let's get you in here, not charging much money. You guys will contribute back to the community and we all win. Just like Brian just said, Tiny Town Wine Company. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, real quick, I just uh, about three things here. I want to show yeah. Chuck's. I want to show the 24-hour bills, and if we could take a peek at the prairie. Yeah, let's do show. it. Yeah. yeah. Now Chuck's. Chuck is a brand new container. There's not one ding, dent, nothing in that house. And we did the same thing. We put the wood, we cut it out, and we framed this with wood, and it is solid. All right. And then we covered it with an aluminum. We put it. We put it, and we bent it around the wood. And then we put this beautiful caulk around the outside. Mm -hmm. I love he kept the numbers. I love Chuck's container. And I'm actually, I don't know if Chuck's on here or not, but I'm going to, um, it'll be after Christmas, but I'm going to decorate his house. I want to decorate it. Yeah. And, uh, show it. Really cool. This is brand spanking new. Now see this right here? This is an aluminum. Mm -hmm. And look at the line. See the caulk line underneath yeah. here? Beautiful. Yeah. That's the big door that and you get. It, yeah, we cut these things in. I don't know if he's got what he's got behind there. Let's see. There it is. There we go. And Chuck's got his. He's got personal stuff got in personal here. Stuff here but we're going to show. We'll show it anyway. 
Yeah. There's the floor. So he's got the kitchen, living room, bathroom, and then bedroom in the back. Yeah. And it's been customized. He's got a closet back there. His refrigerator's up high on a countertop, or up high. He's got a fan that blows um, fresh air back into his bedroom. The mini split will run him out of here. Oh, definitely. Yeah. He's got a little little door on the side. I that, love that little door. Yep. So the window above the... Oh, above. let me show the side of this. I think that looks nice. I remember when Mike and Chuck were doing that. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That looks nice. He's brand new. And how much was that... Uh, this is now this is only eight foot tall it's not a high top right okay what's a high top high top is nine and a half foot tall mm -hmm. yep yep that is cute isn't that neat yeah i love his little door i know it could that be made to swing inward what was what yeah was it could that? it could swing either way because okay. we build them so we can make them any way you'd like yeah Oh, cool. Yep. Yeah. And there's all of his... Um... Now, we've changed out since then, but this is his electric, this is water, this is gas. Um, you know, now we come from underneath, you know, we if pull you're, them. If you're in the community, or whatever you want, right? He's actually going to move mobile. He wants to move a lot. Okay. So he, this is going to be click, click, click. He'll have to have a heated hose. Mm -hmm. Indunity. And you're going to be there a really long time. Uh, excuse me. I think you're going to really want skirting around the outside of your house. Uh, Michigan wants to know how do you insulate the bottom of the container, which goes along with that yeah. skirting. Well, we spray foam, we spray foam underneath like we do all our homes. Yeah. But if you're going to be stationary, man, that wind just sails underneath Ooh, there. Ooh, yeah. So cut. We need to. You need to put skirting around it. We're going to come up with a price. This right here. You guys see this? This is about a typical height. We'll raise it a little bit to get the wheels off the ground. Yeah. But if you're going to about 24 inches, you're going to need skirting all the way around. It's 48 lineal feet around a 16 yeah. foot home. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come up with a price and a material that if you want to buy skirting, there'll be panels. You just put on here and you can skirt right to your house. Yeah. Okay. Is there any extra uh, cost to have water and gray tank to the trailer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we want to show uh, the 8x24. Let's do it, man. Mm -hmm. Now, this the whole house is 24, and then there's a four-foot porch overhang that we used to have a, a fold-down deck, and we can put that back on there. And this is the one that is for sale. It is for sale right now. Mm -hmm. He paid 30 for it. We're going we're gonna to totally remodel the inside. Mm -hmm. The outside has been stained. It's been like that for almost three years now. Right. Nobody's ever lived. I lived in it for a while. Um, and it he had, pay, he paid 30 and added a little more. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to, he's going to have about 36 in it. Yeah. And so we'd like to just finish it all out. If somebody wants it, you can add some colors. You can add some stuff to it. We'll be glad to, we're going to work with him and you all just to try to help him get his money back out of it. Help you get a home with worth more than what you would pay anywhere else. Yeah. And everybody wins. That's what we're trying to do. Exactly. Yeah. He was a great guy to be able to pay for this during our auction when we first started building, you know? And somebody had great ideas. You put a deck on here and build a build a mudroom out here, yes. you know? I think mudroom is super important if you live up north where there's a lot of snow. Oh, yeah. Saves blowing all that cold air in a house. Now, Mishka said for the four-foot overhang, can you make that an insulated room? Yes, we just talked, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is all 24 feet. This floor can come out of here. Mm -hmm. Our original design was have the bed pull out from underneath it and have a uh, bathroom on this side, kitchen on this side. Now we can take all this out, lower it down. I can, I can do windows different. We can put a dormer up here if you'd like. We can put a loft across here. We can put a loft across the living room. You name it, it can be done. Yeah. This is on a craftsman style trailer. So it's a big trailer. You get a lot of headroom in here. Okay, and look at the windows. I mean, you got a picture window. Yeah. 
lot of windows. So you've got a picture window, two, three, four, five big windows, plus the door and just in the living room area. So it's really, it's really just an open slate. Like right now, what would you like for us to do with it? Right. You know? You know, this house is three years old, hasn't been lived in, no. a little bit that I lived in it. Um, it doesn't leak. Everything works on it. Um, all we have to do is in, install the kitchen and the bathroom. Now, we can tear, like I said, we can tear this floor out. And, um, and like it, Ruth just said, there are so many ideas for this home. I mean, it's an open slate. It's open, so, so if you're interested in this, it's got a craftsman-style trailer. Um, and we're going we're gonna to throw some extras in to help move it along. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm going to go look at something. I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll get a look at this. Hey, I had to check them houses. I'm going to see if the big Craftsman style was still unlocked if we wanted to look at that. We haven't okay. looked at it in a long time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I figured you went to pee. No way. <laughs> well, I can't talk to him, so I just don't around. I would never do that. You would never go to pee. <laughs> just don't look that way. I know you don't. And yes, we're going to look at the prairie right after this. Yep. But this was the big craftsman style home and people were asking about that earlier about this you know the height and yeah. everything involved but this is the big difference and we called it the craftsman because this is kind of when i first started out this design gives you the most volume you could ever get in a home from the vertical and everything in it you get massive volume and this is this is still decorated manda it is still decorated yeah beautiful yeah but that's a craftsman and as you can see over there are your RJOs and Freedoms. Beautiful. And you can see the roof lines are less. It's a less, um, less of a home because of the less materials used in it. Yeah. You know? Now, these, we're not stuck to this style. You can see Mom's is over there with a covered wagon look. Yeah. We got Craftsman styles. We got everything. But this is just what we found is a really good selling for us, seller for us, you know? Yeah. We can take a peek in there really quick if you want to. That's up to you all. I mean... I know we're on here for a long time. I know, exactly. This, this deck folds up. Um, the owner that bought this yes. has bought four houses from us. Four houses. This is a gorgeous house. Yeah, I still, still have it decorated. It's got a great entryway. Like I've always pointed out, this is just a regular eight foot house. And look at the room around this refrigerator. And this is a full size fridge. It has a huge fridge. Big fridge goes with this. Oven, cooktop, range hood. Hang on, let me just try to soak it all in because there's a lot. I mean, look how big that fridge is. And it's a smart fridge, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's like me, Manda. What? It's like me, a smart fridge. <laughs> This table flips down. Yes. Yep, it'll fold down just like our other tables we've shown earlier. Yep. So this is a dining table. I love it. You can prep stuff. You can sit here. You can work here. You fold it down so you got a dining room. You got your full kitchen. And look, people, two people can pass each other. Oh, yeah. No problem Plenty in here. Room. Yeah. And then in here, you've got a full living room. Yeah. 
This is 28 foot long, and everybody, this got a full second story on it. This loft up here is about nine foot long, and the other one's 11 foot. Oh, yeah. Full two, two bedrooms. And it's all painted. Oh, my, oh my it's, God. It's not just painted. <laughs> I love whenever I tell you something, you just mail off. Wow. Because oh I've, God. boy, the money we've had, we, we've lost Which, money in this well, house. Oh, this is major. But yeah. You can see there's no floor joists here. Yeah. You know, you don't, there's no girders, no members, because it's made out of like steel, all right? Yeah. Like structural steel that gives it that sleekness. We've also got some splash of barn wood, some wood um, tones mixed with the whites, the gray color. Um, totally different color than what it used to be. Oh, totally different. Yeah. And the house, the design that it was before, it was terrible. It was it was a bad We bad sold layout. it and the lady just didn't like it and instead of oh. putting up with lawsuits and everything in the world with we, it. We refunded her. She didn't like it. We yeah. refunded her. We remodeled it and sold it and took a massive loss and There's no way this house could have been sold with the design that it was. It had two staircases that went up oh. and then two staircases that pulled out and you couldn't walk past either one of them to get Lord. to either where you wanted. It had it three doors awesome, that folded across there. Mm. The washer and dryer that she wanted in there, oh. we told her it was too big, it'll never come out the door and she said, go ahead and put it in anyway. Oh, no, so if it ever broke, you had to tear the wall out to get it out. Yeah, I know. So as soon as we got it here, we tore it out, put in a smaller washer and dryer, reframed the walls. I totally tore out all the Everything. kitchen cabinets. Redid all the kitchen cabinets, countertops. And there was no windows. This right here, there was no light. There was just a house. little window. I put this big picture window in oh, it. Repainted everything, recalked mm -hmm. everything, put all new ceiling across all this, yeah. covered up all the structural steel. Oh, it looks so God, that was a lot of work. Oh, you tell And me. then painted the outside four times. Oh, I know. We primed it twice and painted two coats of paint. And it, and it was an, oh, let me show the bathroom really quick. And it was an auction. Yeah, and paid, sold it for $52,000. It's a $95,000 house. Yeah. But you know what? I'm glad she got it. I am glad she got it. This has got a custom pantry, I mean a custom vanity, regular toilet, stackable washer and dryer, tile floors, tub shower combo. And this bathroom is as big as a residential home bathroom. Ah, it's a combo. Combo. <laughs> Let's go see the prairie, Amanda. Yep, let's go to the prairie. This house is history, man. Oh, it is. Such a beautiful house. Hey, you know what? And we're still alive. We sure are. After all that. Yes, sir. It's like when you when you get and you get hit. <laughs> it's like that, that poster you got Milwaukee. me. Rocky, yeah. Yeah. It's not about how much time you can get. It's about how hard you can get hit and get back up. Yep. Lord. Well, man, everybody's going to tune off, man. I don't, I'm all gone. Well, we got 200 people. They're wanting to see the prairie. Stay on, everybody. I'm going to show you the Stay prairie. On. He's going to show you something. We're walking across the beach right now. Mm -hmm. So this is Malibu Lane right here. Okay. And over there is, um, um, I'm sorry, Laguna. Laguna. So I named it after two California beaches. Cool. Malibu and Laguna. And this road, you got to, that is Tiny Town Tiny Way. Tiny Town Way right Tiny there. Way. It goes. So all the traffic will go across here. We're going to have tropical palm trees and all that stuff here. You'll pull in and pull in. So when you come in, you'll come in there and you go down this road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm hoping to put a guard gate up here. Yeah. And people just volunteer to work in the guard gate. Oh, yeah. You know, great. It's just your own, your own security, what you want to do. Oh, I think a lot of people will do it. Yeah. 150 people will be living here, hopefully. Oh, I think it'll be great. By this time next year. Hey, how many developers Am I get, oh, let me walk over through. how many developers that don't have any money can have 150 people live in their community within a year i don't know any we just fill these shows with so much information look at these big oak trees and they're beautiful yeah and this used to be a big industry. So this, everywhere you see concrete was under roof. I talked to a guy over there at the Lowe's. He used to work here about 15 years ago. Yeah. And he actually worked here for about 10. And he called it, what they call it? They said they called it like seven, seven miles below hell. 
He said it was really? 360 degrees in there running them big tire presses. Oh my God. He said he's seen grown men on their knees crying. It was so hot in here. That's hard. <clears throat> but look at it. It's all gone. And we're creating something really pretty. Down there is all our excess lumber that we've had for it's distressed. Yeah. So we're using that up. That'll be cleaned up, mm -hmm. right? When we, when we get using it up. <clears throat> and then our building, hopefully, will continue down out a little bit further where them containers are, or the dumpsters. Yeah. And then this knoll here, I kind of had some ideas that I, I would really like to put a big lodge here. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like a big restaurant lodge. Yeah. You pull in, there's parking. You can actually park across the street mm -hmm. here near the prairie. And then you come over here and you guys come and hang out. Big open pit fireplaces inside the building. Big old porch wrapping around it. so cool, wouldn't it? Kind of like my idea, you know? Well, I'll tell you what, if the, um, at Brothers Cove, the lodge that you built at Brothers Cove. Yeah. Oh my Lord. Hey, go on if you guys want to yeah. see what kind of like I have in my mind. If you go to brotherscove.com, and there's a website of the resort that I built. And it's got a lot of the buildings and the ideas that I come up with that is kind of be incorporated here. It's a little bit of the same style. But this is the prairie, everybody. All this. All this is the prairie. <clears throat> I want to put a guard gate right here. So when big semi trucks come in and UPS and FedEx, I don't know why I'm screaming. I got my got mic right. on. Yeah. We'll put it. We'll probably put it back here, the guard gate. So when people come in, they can go to the they can go to the prairie, or they can go to the beach in the forest, or they can go for the delivery of the of the um, factory. Um, this is all. Everything's going to change. The everything. gates will the gates will change. There'll be landscaping through here. It's not going to be done overnight. But as we do this, hopefully have a big tree line along the road here for the fence, and then the prairie is going to be done in a way that. Um, it's not going to be just row after row. I could put 200 homes out here, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to line them up like that. So we're going to come out and I'm, I'd like to do, I'm thinking about doing several different ways. I'm thinking about doing little pod circles, um, some lines. I like to have, I like contours. I like shapes tucked in corners, the little houses. It gives it some really, mm -hmm. I don't know, some definition, you know, um, along and two, the, and there's already 16. That it's committed have been leased. right here right here have already been leased yeah 16. so if i get 40 50 home sites mm -hmm. i mean they're we got 16 of them already done yeah exactly now behind that tree line that's our property line but there's a tree line there's our actual path that we've mm -hmm. put there that's incorporated in this loop around this 34 acres and i haven't wheeled it yet to see the distance but we're thinking it's a little bit over a mile so you start here walking you can walk mm -hmm. down tiny town road right into one of the community roads all yeah. along the back mm -hmm. we got a two acre park in the forest yep and then the road goes behind the big building all the way around the by the railroad track behind the prairie into that lane and then we're going to make that road come right on the, along the back here and you come out right here and it's one mile or more wow it is so you yeah. guys will walk them out from your home just step outside and you got a track wow that you can walk your dogs, you can run, bicycle, and it's going to be gravel. Man, it's beautiful. Yeah, and now see all this right here, everybody? See all this land? And it goes all along that fence line, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't plant big trees because you got power lines. They're going to come and cut them all down. Sure. But we could put, you can have a complete winery, like you guys said, right. grow grapes. That's right. I would love to grow, have an orchard along there. Mm -hmm. We'll mash our own grapes, make our own wine, I-T-H wine. That's right. So, but that's the prairie right here, everybody. And I like to have, I'd like to have ponderosa pines and some just pine trees right here Beautiful. that represent um, Yosemite, yes. Yellowstone, stuff like that. This, mm -hmm. this is going to be the prairie. This is going to be, we may even call it Yosemite or the prairie, yep. you know, right. or the Yellowstone. Oh, that's exciting. Yep. What a day, huh? Beautiful day. Woke up this morning, it was like 20 degrees, and now it's gonna be up in the 40s. Now, this is a typical Tennessee winter. Mm -hmm. It'll be warm. Right now, you can get some good vitamin D. It's cold in the morning, and then two weeks from now, it'll be 60 or maybe down to 20 again. So, um, 
I think we've hit about everything we can and asked some questions or answered some questions. It's been a big throw it, throw it at Randy Thursday. Golly, what are you going to do Friday? <laughs> What's on for tomorrow, Amanda? Oh, listen, Friday, tomorrow, we're having our Christmas party. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're going to have some fun. So it's going to be fun Fridays. Fun Fridays. So we're going to do something every Friday starting tomorrow, and it's going to be something big. And you know, I used We've to have. always wanted to do it. I used to constantly do stuff that was fun. And I've been so much into the business, yeah. so God, I got away from it. So that's going to make me get back into that mindset. Yes. I've got some ideas for some zip lines, some swing sets in there, some fun stuff. There's going to be a lot of boy stuff going on, yeah. and we're going to all watch it. So come back tomorrow. You'll still see some homes being built. You'll see the guys that build them. And we're thinking probably in the afternoon because we want it to be at the end of the day, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. towards, uh, we all leave here about 5, you know, but they're going to work through the weekend, but they leave at 5, so we'll probably come on tomorrow about 4, yeah. Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's going to be I fun. I hope you enjoyed this show, everybody. Oh, real quick, Bonnie wants to know, will there be river access? That's a Bonnie. good question about, there's a, a river back there. There is a river back there. Um, it's a tributary of Pigeon, Pigeon River, mm -hmm. so it's not the main river. There's an island, and what happened is the main river split, so the main river goes, and this is a tributary of Pigeon River, so it gets a little low in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, you can walk over there if you like. There is no access right now. you got to walk over a railroad track. Right. Yeah, it's a little cumbersome and to get there. there's no plans for that right now. You None. None. That's, a, that's a big deal. got to wait. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited about this right here. Oh, yeah. And so we're going to play and hope to have a good time. You guys, thank you for all your questions, tuning in today. I know it's in the middle of the day, and you can, and you may be watching this later on. If you're in the bed and it's 1 a.m., thanks for tuning in, watching yeah. us. Subscribe to the show, of course. This is how we get out there. We want everybody to see what we're doing. We think this is a very unique place. Mm -hmm. Thanks to everybody. I'm Randy Jones, and I'm out. <laughs> Bye.